Hi all my friends, this is a video that as I was making my way through Idaho near the Oregon border and along that stretch had the most beautiful farmland that I have ever seen. So it's so gorgeous through that area. And then as I get closer to the border, um, I see the Oregon sign and I get so excited as I cross over back home into Oregon. Um, along that stretch of the road, it's very beautiful. You start going through some um, hills and everything and uh, kind of like up elevation and down a little bit. And it was so cool because this was a stretch of area again that the Oregon Trail uh, you know went through so the immigrants passed through that way and if you stop at the rest stop uh, you'll get to see some plaques that they have of a lot of information about what they went through through that area as they were making their way you know to the final destination um, uh, you know of the Oregon Trail now of course a lot of them ended up not making it all the way into the um, on the other side of the cascade, you know, they were trying to get to where the green trees were and and uh, they into Oregon City is basically where they were their destination was trying to get to. Some of them stopped along the way, said they're not going any farther. <laughs> you know, they were looking for the promised land of you know of yeah trees, and all they saw was basically this um, you know hills with nothing there but they did stay along any anywhere where there was water so one of the things you're going to see along the way is the snake river okay and um, before the snake river turns okay and as the snake river turns it goes up and borders Idaho and Oregon through part of the way and then eventually turns and goes into Washington now there is a stretch in there that if you make your way from Baker City, and I highly recommend going to Baker City, I just barely went in and got supplies, but there is a uh, Oregon Trail Interpreter Center there, a museum basically, and also you can see the ruts um, still visible from the Oregon uh, Trail. Some of them went from that section and they turned and they went up through the Blue Mountains and up and over through, uh, dropped down into La Grande, okay, and Pendleton. So that whole stretch, it's really fascinating to see the journey that they went through. Um, but if you go through that section of, you know, um, where you make your way up and then down, as I mentioned, it's also called the Hell's Canyon Byway. Now, part of that area, you can go up and then you'll um, see the more of the Snake River. Uh, you'll get to see that right at the base before you come more away from that um, area of the, uh, the border and the Snake Rivers. You come more inland a little bit, but you go through some beautiful trees and it's just gorgeous up through that area. And we have actually our own beautiful canyon here in Oregon called Hell's Canyon. So there's a lot of viewpoints that you can see in, into the canyon. It's absolutely gorgeous. I, I lived here a long time before someone even told me that we had our own little, you know, canyon here, um, like the Grand Canyon, but, but smaller, but very beautiful. So it's worth checking out and also the town of Joseph. So if you go into the town of Joseph, they have lots of shops and uh, restaurants, and it's just one of the most quaint towns and beautiful mountain views. It's one of my favorite places. It also has a lot of Indian history of Chief Joseph. So highly recommend going through there. And also Wallawa Lake. Wallawa Lake is one of my favorite places and it's so beautiful. So that whole stretch of area and then you can continue your way through Wallawa Lake and um, and the, the, um, the uh, um, Hell's Canyon Byway, and then you continue to follow the journey of the Oregon Trail. So definitely worth doing if you ever come through this area, okay? But for me, I um, I just kind of like, you know, make my way into Baker City, and then you'll have to wait for the next video as you find out 
where I went to after I went through this stretch of area. Now I apologize that some of the video is not very clear, but the stretch of road was really rough and there was a lot of noise from the van. Uh, so I did my best to, you know, to talk over it. And so I hope, um, yeah, I hope you'll be able to still h hear me enough. But I, again, I apologize over the noise of the van, okay? But it's still pretty exciting as I'm passing through that area. All right, so I love you all and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.